Hey dolls, yes here. Welcome back to my channel. Do you guys love the spirit fingers? Because sometimes I just feel like going in a little bit harder. Anyways, I'm yes. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be <clears throat> Today's video is going to be a first impressions on the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment Mask. This one right here, as you guys may have seen it on social media, it's like the metallic one that you peel off. Um, I just got it in an event not too long ago, so I thought, hey, why don't I do a first impressions on it? So if you guys want to see my opinion on this mask, then please keep watching. Alright, so first off, I'm going to go ahead and put some lip balm on because... My lips are killing me. I feel like I'm getting some kind of anxiety because they're so dry. All right. All right, so this is what the packaging looks like. I love that their packaging is like in bright colors and metallic because that catches my eye. Um, so on the back it says, hello sexy. It has little stars around it and blah, blah. And so then you open it up. I already popped it open because you have to like cut it with scissors. You pop it open and the actual little container looks like this. Really cool metallic color. I love like cool packaging because it just, you know, I want it. And then on the inside, it comes with a little brush. If I could just, all right, hold on. Here it is. Um, it's a cute little brush. Here, let me pop it open. How do you... Alright. So the little brush looks like this. So this is what the texture is like. Ooh. Oh yeah. Alright, let's get right into it. Let's start applying. It says to avoid the eyebrows and hairline. So cool. Dude, I can't, this is so cool. Okay, well already hands down, this has to be the coolest mask I've ever tried. Um. So for the hands down category, Glam Glow, what is it called? Uh, metal mask, you win. And it smells like coconut. So if you don't like coconut, this is probably not for you because it like smells like coconut. I mean, it's all over my face. It smells like coconut, oh my god. I know I said that a lot already, but... It feels like... It feels like a burning sensation, like in a good way though. Like it's not like unbearable, but like something's definitely happening. I'm trying to get like good pieces in here because you're supposed to just peel it off. So I want it to peel off like all together. Like I don't want it to be piecey. So let me make sure that get in that nose girl because my nose needs to be tight too, you know? Can't leave the nose out. All right. Am I doing too much? I think I might be doing too much, but it looks so cool. I just want to make sure like All right, so I just finished applying the mask and I do feel a strong burning sensation. Um, almost like peppermint on the face. I've never had peppermint on my face, but I'm assuming this is probably what it would feel like. Um, I would say from a one to a 10, it's probably like, you know, it's pretty up there. Probably like a seven. So if you're very like sensitive, you know, to your face, I don't know if this is for sensitive skin, but I feel like my skin would be very red right now if I didn't have this mask on. So, mm. 
Okay, so that's what I'm feeling right now. Oh my God, this is so cool. This, all right guys, so update number one. Um, I've had the mask on for about three minutes and I can feel it slowly tightening up. I mean, I can still obviously like move my mouth. I can still do it all, but it's just tightening up. All right, update number two. It's been about six minutes with the mask on and it's going tighter and I don't, I don't really, I don't know what's going on there. All right, so update number three. Um, there are no updates. <laughs> it kind of remains the same. It hasn't gotten any tighter, but it is tight, but it hasn't gotten any tighter since the last update. So um, yeah, we have 10 minutes left. Let's see how it goes. All right, so it's been 25 minutes. Now we're gonna go into peeling it off. It's supposed to come off as like a whole thing. You know, not washed off, it's supposed to come off. So let's see. I think I should have done like a thicker thing right here just so that way it would be easier to take off, but I didn't, so yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, oh, that kinda hurt. Ow. Am I supposed to take my little hairs out or not? <laughs> I'm excited. Um, I'm trying to like roll it, you see? That's what I'm trying to do. Oh no, I feel like it's gonna come out all messed up. And that's not very satisfying. I think maybe if you guys are gonna use it, maybe use a little bit more. Oh, okay, all right. I see it, so. <laughs> Look at how red it is. But that's not because of mass, that's because I went a little hard rolling. See, like here is like a good consistency. Right. This feels like, like you know, you know when you were a kid and if you didn't do this, then I don't know what you were doing in elementary school, but like when you would put Elmer's glue on your hand and then peel it off. You know? Oh. oh my god, it's so red over here. I really want a little bit hard. Oh. Okay. I want to be a little bit, I want to be dramatic. <laughs> It, it doesn't hurt, but I'm being a little extra. Like I'm pretending like I'm in a scary movie and they're taking off my skin. And we're ready. <laughs> Just kidding, I need to go in over here. Just get in there, be real nice. shimmer in it it's so cool so this is what it looks like and you could just tear it all right roll that up in a ball and we got to take off all of the excess stuff All right, so I'm having trouble taking off all this excess stuff. So we're gonna go in with the spin for perfect spin. Or wait, is it spin for perfect spin? Yeah, no. Spin for perfect skin. I have a coupon code. You can find that down below.
All right, so I think that pretty much got most of it off. I'll be washing my face after this, but you know, for the sake of the video. Um, that was a really, really satisfying mask. I really, really liked it. All right, so this mask here retails for $69, and you can get it at Sephora, or you can get it online at glamglow.com. Um, I do like it. I'm not so surprised because I thought I was going to like it. I've heard some good reviews about it, and I can definitely see where over time of wearing this mask, your skin would get firmer and tighter. Um, obviously, this is a first impression, so it's the first time I've ever used it, but as of now, it does what it says that it's gonna do. It tightens up, it tightens up your skin. Um, so I can, like I said, I can definitely see where over time this can you know, make a big change um, to your skin. It's also the coolest like the coolest, coolest mask I've ever seen or tried. Um, the texture of it is like so cool. It looks cool. It looks cool on. It's like very satisfying to peel. So I think it's like a good product. If you're looking um, for a mask that is to like tighten and firm in, firm in, I don't know if that's the word, but we're just gonna run with it. Um, if you're looking to tighten your skin, I would definitely say that this is a pretty cool product. So like I said, it retails for $69. It's going to be linked in the description bar below in case you want to purchase it. And overall, I'm going to go ahead and give it a yes. <laughs> yes, you know, like my name. I hope you caught that. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Porque, like, why not, you know? Um, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys in my next video.